Welcome back and a happy new year. On Boxing Day we launched a survey for our viewers to vote for the 10 best films of 2014. We had an amazing 462 individual votes. Here is our list voted for by the public looking at the top 10 films of 2014. Number 10, Nightcrawler. I think it may just be possible that I have a higher opinion of you than you have of yourself. Starting off our list is Dan Gilroy's gloomy neo-noir crime thriller set against the dark backdrop of Los Angeles. A visually sleek and powerful film, Nightcrawler has Jake Gyllenhaal in his transformative performance as a petty criminal desperate for work as he discovers the high-speed world of LA crime journalism. Both edgy and gritty, Nightcrawler is a non-stop thriller that is intricate in uncovering the realms and risks of news production. You went inside the house, you filmed all through the house, you even filmed the bodies, all before the police came. That door was open, ma'am. Detective. Number 9, X-Men Days of Future Past. Professor! <laughs> Brian Singer returned in 2014 for the most recent X-Men after being absent for the past four films, and what a return he has made. Just relax, Peter, we're not cops. No, you're not cops. Hey, what's with this gifted youngster's place? The action scenes are intense and spectacularly choreographed with some fantastic heroes and foes fighting both against and alongside each other. A visually stunning and exhilarating flick that combines the best elements of the series to create a fantastic and entertaining film. Number 8, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. An outstanding and riveting science fiction flick, Matt Reeves has created a stellar sequel that is rich, beautiful and haunting. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes transcends the Hollywood blockbuster. We don't mean any harm! An intensely well acted and powerful political action drama, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is entertaining on the surface but deep down has themes that are both intelligent and melodramatic. This is a powerfully resonant instalment and arguably the best of a franchise. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Number seven, Edge of Tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm trying to save you. We're getting slaughtered. You need to get us off this beach. We have to go. This dropship is about to explode. We have to go now. One of the most ingenious film concepts ever created, Edge of Tomorrow is a gripping and clever blockbuster sci-fi thrill ride accompanied with taut, fast-paced action and compelling direction. The premise of the time loop has been used before, but this time round there are enough exciting visuals and dynamic storytelling skills employed to make this one thrilling and unexpectedly comedic flick that is unpredictable and expertly designed. Activate drop lines! Remember! Ah! 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 Number 6, Boyhood. Although many may argue that this epic drama from Richard Linklater is the greatest and most powerful film of the year, public votes only took this film to sixth place. This aside, Linklater's 12 year project is a monumental feat of filmmaking, and one that will linger in its audience's mind for years to come. It is a truly amazing movie. The fact we are watching this character transform through his life over the course of 18 years, from a young child to a mature adolescent, is a groundbreaking piece of cinema. Samantha, how was your week? Uh, I don't know, Dad, it was kind of tough. Billy and Ellen broke up, and Ellen's kind of mad at me because she saw me talking to Billy in the cafeteria. And you remember that sculpture I was working on? Well, it was a unicorn, and the horn broke off, so now it's a zebra, okay? But I still think I'm going to get an A. Number five, Gone Girl. You stalked her, you threatened her, and you attempted suicide in her bed and were institutionalized. Your wife is missing, and you came all this way to tell me this? Well, I thought there might be another side to this story. Dark and twisted, David Fincher's stylish mystery thriller was derived from Gillian Flynn's intriguingly complex and suspenseful novel, and boasts some strong yet disturbing performances from Ben Affleck and co. Fincher has garnered fame and recognition as a mainstream director that is not only able to engulf the audience within the picture, but actually makes them part of a scenario. He exercises upon his trademarks with the swift and stunning cinematography, the chilling score and tight editing. 
So, your wife has no friends here. Is she kind of standoffish? Ivy League? Rubs people the wrong way? She's from New York. She's complicated. She's got very high standards. Type A? Well, that can make you crazy if you're not like that. You seem pretty laid back. Type B. Number four, Birdman. Let's go. Walk. Where are we going? Get you some coffee. Did I do something to disrespect you? Not yet. Look, I have a lot riding on this f play. Oh, is that right? Yeah. People know who I am. And it Alejandro Gonzalez and Yaratu has created a truly spectacular character study that arguably features this year's strongest acting performances alongside a well-executed script, booming soundtrack and a monumental achievement with cinematography from Emmanuel Lebeski in which he attempts a Hitchcockian approach reminiscent of Rope and displays the story for a seemingly single and unbroken sweeping shot. I, I didn't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, that is, that's f***ing horrible, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's also not true. Yeah, I can pretend to be. Oh! Don't oh. me, Mike. I'm you're, telling you. You're a little bit crazy. You know what? You should start using yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you have no idea. So, working with Rick and Thompson's like Walsh with a monkey? Huh? I might have said that. Yeah, but... you Come on. Let's go. Number three The Grand Budapest Hotel. Who are you? I'm Zero, sir. The new lobby boy. Zero, you say? Yes, sir. Well, I've never heard of you. Never laid eyes on you. Who hired you? Mr. Mosher, sir. Mr. Mosher? Yes, Monsieur Gustav. Am I to understand you've surreptitiously hired this young man in the position of a lobby boy? He's been engaged for a trial period, pending your approval, of course. The Grand Budapest Hotel is a meticulous and quintessential vision from Anderson that features stylish scenes accompanied with an outstanding ensemble cast, all put together to create a beautifully orchestrated vision that explores dramatically emotional themes. She's been murdered, and you think I did it. The Grand Budapest Hotel finds Anderson once again using ornate visual environments to explore deeply emotional ideas. He's a ruthless adventurer and a con artist who preys on mentally feeble, sick old ladies. And he probably f***s them too. Well, I go to bed with all my friends. <laughs> Number two, Guardians of the Galaxy. Ronan may have questions for you. Hey, you know what? There's another name you might know me by. Star-Lord. Who? Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw. Coming second place, Guardians of the Galaxy is an amazing and irreverent superhero blockbuster packed full of humour and action in a visually stunning galaxy. Chris Pratt is by far one of Marvel's best casting choices since Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, and even beyond this, the other acting bodies were cast perfectly. The visual effects are utterly stunning and the battle scenes are epic. Guardians is a truly amazing and thrilling superhero flick full of visual splendour. These pods are industrial grade, they're nearly indestructible. Not against Necroblast, they're not. That's not what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> Before we reveal our number one film, here are some honourable mentions that didn't quite cut the list. Captain America The Winter Soldier. Stand down, Captain Rogers. Stand down. Repeat. Stand down. The Lego Movie. <laughs> So, uh... Hey guys, I think we're about to crash into the sun. Yeah, but it's gonna look really cool. 22 Jump Street. When he talking? My name is Jeff. How to Train Your Dragon 2. Ready? <laughs> the Imitation Game. Five minutes and 34 seconds. You said to do it in under six. Fury. <laughs> Number one, Interstellar. It's hard leaving everything. My kids, your father. We're going to be spending a lot of time together. We should learn to talk. Am I not to? Just being honest. With the most votes from the public and from those on the Smashing UK team, Christopher Nolan's science fiction epic got the first place. A film that explores the psychological and emotional state of a man whose life revolves around his family. Interstellar is a thrilling and thought-provoking film that boasts an intellectual story masterfully written by the Nolan brothers. 
You don't believe we went to the moon? I believe it was a brilliant piece of propaganda that the Soviets bankrupted themselves, pouring resources into rockets and other useless machines. Useless machines? Whilst it can be hard to comprehend at times, it can't be denied how visually monumental and thoughtful Nolan's epic science fiction masterpiece is. You once told me that when you came back we might be the same age. Today is my birthday. I'm the age you were when you left. So it'd be a real good time for you to come back. Thank you for watching. Are there any films we forgot to mention? Leave your opinions in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday.